everybody, this is Phil from Tornado Demolition. Uh, that's my other company, 24K Disposal Salvage. We're doing a legalized grow operation. They had a license to grow marijuana. Been here for three years. There was a little bit of a fire. Uh, the owner of the building uh, told him to leave because their insurance would be void anyways, even though it was legalized. So we're tearing it all apart. It's a building in, in a building. Almost a half a truck of material. Basically thrashed the whole building. There's garbage everywhere. There's a washroom beyond that door. Uh, we tore one room off already. There's some garbage around. We were separating the metal. Um, it's a little bit dark, but I'll show you different phases. This is where the fire started. It's quite dark in here. It all started in here. But anyways, let me go in this next room here. I mean, these are huge rooms here. They're all framed with half inch plywood. Uh, everything was legalized here, so everything was supposed to be with permits. Um, they had all, at least five or six air conditioner units, um, everything. Uh, they left a lot of junk behind. I'm gonna sell the cheese ones, probably because we sell them. Those are forced air um, for, I guess, your grow, growing system. So whatever is resellable or sellable, I'm going to take it and sell it. That's just inside the grow room. We had one, one, two, five, I would say five 20 foot beds. So it was a pretty sophisticated operation here. But since it was a legalized operation, they can do what they want, right? I think they overdid the power. They got greedy and sucked a little too much power. There's all your fan systems. Uh, this is where they, I like to show you this room. Be amazed what they did here. To save this crap. See what they did here? Just, uh, I got so much crap on the ground here. Sticks ever, I'm tripping on stuff, but they made a, I guess this is where they stored their marijuana. They used this whole, it's like a jail. This whole room is reinforced with the rebar. It's a cage system. I don't know how they even secured it here, but so if anyone would break in or cut a hole, they couldn't get through. It's solid rebar. It's like a little jail system. It makes me laugh. But anyways, another view here. So that, that whole room is lined with rebar, wall to ceiling rebar. So all this has to come out, and remember this is a, a big, huge warehouse that had a, a base, and they put beams in and everything just to hold everything up here. I'm not sure how structurally sound it was. Here's all your uh, big vats there. Your growing vats here. You know, the nutrient ponds and all that for the different uh, growing. It was all sophisticated. It had all sorts of conduits, air conditioning units, they had uh, temperature control, humidity, everything. Fans are going automatically. All sensors, they had cameras everywhere. This is like a major, probably a $300,000 operation here. This one's pretty sizable. Upstairs. So we're tearing it all apart. Uh, this used to be a, kind of like an office area which they tore all the walls out. There's all sorts of sellable stuff here, I would think. But as you can see, this is all for your heating control, controlling your whole system, alarm systems, everything. Got a catwalk here. Had another grow room in there. I think that was something to do with um, I guess your clones and all that, your babies. And over here, this is the second level now. So I want to figure out why it's lights over here. Okay, second level. Uh, the, the contractor actually ended up tearing poly off. Look at the sheet supply, look how big the area is. It's got to be one sheet, two. That's 24 feet, 28. So about um, 
almost 30, 30 by 40 area. Massive amounts of plywood here. Just a big shamble mess here. They already took a little soil out. I was supposed to be at this job for well, about two, three weeks ago, but got delayed on that, that renovation where I pulled the floor out in the last video I showed you. So we're just gonna basically work our way across. But what I'm gonna first end up taking part of this structure out here so I can back my truck and we can load it directly into the truck automatically. Really cheaply made this building. Um, it's only a two by six ceiling on flat, which is ridiculous. So they must have had 18 footers on flat, but not even on vertical. Very hokey look system on at least, at least the roof part. But uh, when you get lower, it's gotta be, I would say more heavy duty because it is pretty solid when you walk. I'll show you progress as we go. Another hard job again. We do the specialized demolition here, so we always get these weird, weird jobs. Most people wouldn't even want to touch. I mean, there's a million, like everything's done by either a screw or air, air nails. They just, there is no shortage of nails. If you look here, I guess these guys are dopers who built this up. When you're on dope, look, look at all the nails there. There's millions of nails. See every two, three inches of nails. But the good part is half inch ply will long will tear and it start popping off. Anyways, this is our progress. This we got about, uh, we start at what, 10, 10, 30, hour and a half. Hour and a half into the project. No, it's a little two hours, yes, sir. We were two hours in this project. We got the whole top room taken out. We moved a lot of garbage from below, which you can't see. I threw all the pots out. Started taking both sides of the wall out. So we're just getting started here. You know, when you first explore this place, you want to see what's good. You're always looking for, you're looking for treasures, right? And then after that, let's just stop here, work. Gung ho and keep moving. But you can see, like they're trying to build a house here. Nails. There's like 30 nails just in that area here, 30 nails. Uh, this progress here, uh, we worked seven hours. Uh, one guy showed up for an hour, but he was had an attitude problem, so I sent him home. He worked an hour, and then me and uh, my top worker worked seven hours total. Ceilings, mostly ceilings gone already. We just have the outside walls, that's the second floor. That's all taken out the back wall. As you can see, my truck's parked in there. All that burnt section is out. Back wall. So the whole room's two rooms are gone already. Very good day today, a lot of progress. Uh, the goal tomorrow is taking this, this, all these walls down here. Um, part of that old area maybe, but most of the screw up system here has to come off tomorrow. Um, depends how fast my truck fills up. I may have to do two runs, if not, a pile of material right there for uh, probably come back Monday I would think that's the progress report thanks for watching we'll show you more later Have okay so we cut the wall in a section we're gonna drop it in one shot this wall here okay go for it one section done Boom! So it's snowing in here. <laughs> That's how we do it. Drop it in full section. Knock out the two by sixes. We may we might start saving these two by sixes because they're really good shape in the fur number two. We pull that section already. Show you more. Yeah. Thanks for watching. So easy for you, we got a wall here. We're just gonna drop this wall down. Go ahead, there, Dale. Drop her down. Mission. This is a full load. Load number two of recycled wood. Day two. Um, this is what I got accomplished here. Got all the stuff off all the outside walls. Got a bunch of insulation between. It's a pain in the ass, but anyways, that's the way it is. Um, took these. 
two by sixes here. I'm hoping to sell them at two bucks each. They'll have some nails in them, but if I can get two dollars each, eight footers for number two. If not, they're going to be in. Huge area, big accomplishment today. Very good. We had uh, three guys. One guy only really worked an hour yesterday, so we had two guys made yesterday. Three guys today. About six and a half hours today. So we did really good. It's amazing, actually. What we'll do is uh, Monday we're going to take out all this, all the debris, all the uh, non-wood materials, do a full load. Then we're going to start in that corner over there, pull the plywood up 10 feet back, right across. And then we're going to knock knock the plywood on the inside because there's a plywood on top and on the inside. Because it's, it's like a building in the building. And that's what we're going to do. And this way everything will be. Everybody will come out in sections there, and then we'll cut the truss at the same time. So that's this view here. Keep you tuned. We're going to be taking it all up too, actually. We've got such a drywall, we have to test it for asbestos, which I tested. Uh, we worked in a sub, uh, this uh, area before, by this building, about two units over, and it was negative. But just in case, we'll have to test it. It's only just drywall and ceiling anyways, not a lot, and a little bit on the wall. We'll get it tested for asbestos. If not, that's all coming out too. We'll leave the lower section, I believe, but this top, all this top crap's coming out. It's going to just be a big box. Hi, thing. I'm in that uh, safe room here in that job. I want to show you how it's put all together. They actually welded. It looks like a jail cage. I guess they're protecting the marijuana. I heard they got broken in a couple times. That was the rumor. So it's like a jail out of rebar, all welded. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is take the top off. I'm going to split these four walls like a banana. And they'll have a cage after and I'll make a few cuts here and there. Boom. And they'll be like a mat. So we'll throw my chunk of scrap metal. We'll cut them away and it'll be like four mats. Unbelievable. Even though they welded it, I couldn't believe it. So I spent a lot of time here to weld. They actually welded. Wow, they actually welded everything. Not just the odd one. They, they put tire wire, but they also welded everyone. Wow, they spent a lot of work. I spent.
Don't get trapped in there. There goes the staircase. All the upstairs are stripped. Everybody filled the under demolition. This is the final result. Building and building. A legalized grow up. As you can see, uh, a fair amount of water damage walled. Partly to do. There was a bit of a fire here, possibly, but you can see the effects of the damage. All the mildew and the rot. This dry will have to be replaced, at least some of it. But we stripped the hole upstairs completely. There's no rooms up there. Took down the metal stairway. There's one big open area. We took, I think, um, seven truckloads. Let's see, I think five truckloads of wood, two and a half truckloads of garbage. I think seven and a half loads. A little bit of drywall came from the top floor. Uh, this is some of the two by sixes that we saved. We got approximately 120 we saved. Huh? Yeah. So the stairway was one big shell now. This is the way the original building looked. Here is just some equipment I'm going to take and I'm going to try to sell it. If I can't sell it, I'm going to recycle the bulbs. They're actually brand new, but we'll see what I can do with those. Um, otherwise, I'll recycle this metal, take a scrapper, cut the cords off. But uh, there's some places that I use hydroponic equipment, so if it's sellable, hopefully I can sell it. If not, I'm going to just junk it. There was the fire damage there. You could see the smoke damage up the side of the wall. Anyways, another one done. Uh, this video is dedicated for uh, educational purposes for per people that do demolitions and not really sure how to do it. Uh, these are some of the shortcuts I showed you. And uh, watching these videos, you'll learn to do your own demolitions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like, share. All the best. This is Phil from 24, uh, Phil from Tornado Demolition, have a great day.